Kemba, thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos. Welcome back. But if you're new here, hello, welcome to my channel. Please, before you leave, remember to subscribe. And when you subscribe, remember to click that notification bell. It is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I promise you, you will always enjoy every content that I upload so friends we all want to hear that beautiful online dating success love story only <laughs> i know you don't want to hear the stories that didn't work you don't want to hear the challenges that women or black women go through on online dating apps no <laughs> you just want to hear only success happy endings fair tale <laughs> It's okay guys, that's very, very normal. Let's remember that this channel is all about the real talk. So I'm not going to just close my eyes and pretend that when you go to online dating apps, immediately you find the one then we have that beautiful success online dating love story no guys we have to talk of the real situation yes it is very possible to find the one on online dating apps and have that success love story but at the same time there are some challenges that you come across when you are on online dating apps i told you guys being on online dating apps is like fighting a battle so while fighting that battle you need some weapons <laughs> to help you so the tips that i always share the stories of the challenges that women or black women go through on online dating apps those are the weapons guys which will help you on your search which will help you find the one yes so don't be like we don't want stories that don't end well we don't want to hear the challenges no guys we have to accept the reality and that takes us to our today's video our this video is going to be a story time yes we have this love story of a tanzanian lady by the name of lillian 22 years of age who found love on online dating apps with an american guy who is in his 50s and guys what is more more interesting about this story this lady is my own baby my own product because <laughs> she found out about that dating app where she found the one by watching my videos yes that's why i'm saying she is my own baby to know the name of the dating app where she found the one i am going to be sharing it before i end this love story so guys i don't want to waste much of your time please let us start this story so friends just like i said in my last video that every man that is on online dating apps something pushed him to join online dating apps this is the same to women every woman that is on online dating apps something pushed her to join online dating apps you have been watching most of my success stories i always share with you what pushed these ladies to join online dating apps and most of them have been saying it is due to their past love relationship experience <laughs> yes so we need to know what pushed Lillian to join online dating apps? What was her past relationship experience like? Was she in a relationship with a Tanzanian man? And if yes, how was it like? How did she come to know about dating apps? So let's jump into this. So friends, Lillian's past relationship love experience starts with Tanzanian men. <laughs> <laughs> how did it go <laughs> i know my tanzanian ladies are like how did it go <laughs> guys it went very very bad with tanzanian men she tells us she dated three tanzanian men but all these three men the relationships could not work and the reason is she tells us it's like she was the only one trying so hard for the relationship to work she was the only one forcing herself to these men they could not give her anything in return no guys i told you that for a relationship to work it takes two 
not one so when you find yourself in a situation you are forcing the relationship to work you are the one telling the guy i love you you are the one all the time telling the guy i miss you you are the one forcing everything so that that relationship can go forward in the end you are going to get frustrated yes <laughs> i know the feelings guys and if you have ever been in such kind of a relationship you can relate it's not a good thing so this is what happened to lillian in her relationships with tanzanian men she could find herself forcing a lot she could find herself putting lots of efforts for the relationship to work in the end she got frustrated disappointed and was like i am done with tanzanian men so friends lillian's second past love relationship experience was with a black american guy and how did it happen so lillian tells us one day she went to the mall for shopping this mall is called city mall it is located at Mnazimodia in tanzania if you are a tanzanian you will know this mall so while at the mall came across this tall handsome black american guy talk to her and then exchange phone numbers after that they started dating her experience with that black american guy was a good one guys a very very good one we know she came from toxic relationships but this one with a black american guy she tells us he could treat her like a queen could give her compliments he was so caring and so loving so friends everything went very well in that relationship with a black american guy but there was one huge problem <laughs> <laughs> I know you would like to know what was that huge problem Bella <laughs> Lillian was 20 and this guy was 26 he was in Tanzania not for work no he was on vacation and his vacation was four months so when four months ended this guy had to return to America they continued communicating but as they continued to date you know when you are dating a guy and your intentions are genuine as ladies we start dreaming of getting married settling down have kids when we are still young like when a lady is in her 20s when you ask her about the future you will hear such kind of things getting married having kids having a job you know <laughs> compared to a 20 years old man <laughs> he might not even mention those things so Lillian as she was dating this black American guy she tells us did not see the future yes the guy was so loving the guy was so caring the guy was so respectful Respectful. he treated her like a queen but she couldn't see the future so one day decided to talk to this black american boyfriend about the future about them staying together maybe this guy come to tanzania live with her or take lillian to america and this guy answered that listen lillian i love you so much I care so much about you if I say I am going to bring you to America or come to stay with you in Tanzania it is only one percentage <laughs> when Lillian heard that confirmed everything that she felt because she could feel like there is no future with this guy he's so good and everything but I don't see the future so when he said that they agreed that they should end that relationship because there was no need to keep on the relationship that you don't see the future so friends I give you this advice I don't know how many times I've talked about this but I'll keep telling you because I know it is very very important it's like a wake-up call when I keep repeating <laughs> it's like i'm telling you wake up ladies never waste your time with a guy that you don't see the future in there is no need don't force don't keep trying there is no need you deserve better so friends after lillian ended that relationship with a black american guy had grown interest feelings 
towards American men because we have seen that she dated Tanzanian men but it went bad and she was like I am done with Tanzanian men then dated a black American guy who treated her well but couldn't see the future in him but was treated very well was treated just like a queen so she wanted to get a man who will treat her like a queen a man who will give her compliments a man who will care for her a man who will love her for who she is because she had an experience of dating a black american man so she was like my husband is going to be an american guy and that is when she decided to go on youtube start searching how to find an american guy then youtube started suggesting online dating apps videos that is when she came across my video of me talking about online dating apps for black women to try so friends after lillian watched that video of me sharing the names of the dating apps to try she chose only one i always share like 15 18 12 dating apps but decided to take only one dating app the reason is lillian never believed that someone can get a real man on online dating apps for her all men on online dating apps were fake <laughs> i know out there still exist people who think that online dating apps have got only fake men you can't find a real man on online dating apps <laughs> so that is how lillian thought and was like okay because this lady is saying let's try there is no harm in trying <laughs> i always say give it a try you never know you will find the one so she gave it a try she first wanted to confirm if you can find a real man real people on online dating apps so set her profile but that profile tells us was a fake one used a fake name did not even upload her pictures <laughs> but surprisingly started receiving messages from men and some of them wanted to exchange phone numbers she did exchange phone numbers so when they could come to whatsapp they could want a video call <laughs> so she could open a camera and hide or take something hide her face <laughs> why are you hiding your face you're fake and then block her but she came to realize that these men were real if you look at the pictures on online dating app and you look at them on a video call they were real people so she was like oh my god so real people exist <laughs> this is when she had to return to the dating app delete that fake account and then came with a new account beautiful pictures everything was set well just like the way i instructed and started her online dating journey to search for the right one so among of the success stories i have ever shared here on my channel this is the only lady that told me never came across any challenges on online dating apps she told me bella i stayed for a week and that week i could receive lots lots of messages from men and i can say like three of them were serious 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 but it was me who decided to choose the one that i want to continue chatting with but this reminds me there is another lady i was helping on online dating apps she told me bella i am old i wonder why most ladies when i read the comments on your comment section they complain they don't get messages i am 35 but i get loads of messages every day from these men on online dating apps how come someone can stay online and does not receive messages from men <laughs> i was like i don't know but i told you guys work on your profile i don't know why you don't want to listen to me but please work on your profile your photos the way you approach men what you are looking for i am so so sure you will receive messages from men and you will find the right one trust me guys if others are finding the one why not you so let's go back to lillian's story so friends lillian tells us she stayed a week in that dating app and one day received a message from an american guy <laughs> the one that she wanted yes she wanted an american guy remember 
So this guy's message was like, hi, sexy Cocoa African queen. Can I get to know you more? <laughs> the message caught her attention and decided to respond. After responding, that is how it all started. So guys, they started talking, introducing themselves to each other, and every day their relationship could grow strong and stronger this guy told Lillian he was divorced for two years and he had two kids with the ex so Lillian too told this guy about her life a bit but you know when you start getting to know each other you can't know everything in a day <laughs> It is day by day, day by day, and that is why I've been telling you, dear beautiful ladies, do not be in a hurry to find the one. Do not be in a hurry to know someone, because that is when you destroy everything. When you want to know this guy's life in a day, that is when it puts off this man that is chatting to you trust me i've been chatting to men i told you last time there is a guy i was chatting to and i've been chatting to others too sometimes i think there is a story i shared where i helped a lady to find someone online and then she destroyed everything so most men complain that you ladies always are in a hurry you want to arrive to the end of the story you don't want to go through the whole journey to know someone so i think here you learn something if you're chatting with a guy i've been giving you tips don't go and want to implement all the tips that i've been giving you the same same day to a man that you're chatting to no guys it does not go that way you have to take one step at a time you can't ask a guy the same same day Tell me everything about your life. You can't do that. There are some questions you can't ask the first day. Maybe you guys need a video <laughs> of these questions that you shouldn't ask the first day because they are turning off men. Guys, you should be clever. When you're chatting with a guy, go slowly. Don't show a guy you are desperate. Don't show a guy you are in a hurry to find someone. No take your time be calm this will help you very very much so they kept on knowing each other every day and after a month william told lillian i want to invite you to america do you have a passport lillian told him i don't have a passport then william was like i'm going to send you money process your passport so that we can start the visa application to come to America. So after Lillian hearing this, she was very, very happy. I remember wrote me a message on Instagram and was like, Bella, I found this guy. I am your product. I'm so, so happy. I don't know anything about dating apps, but through your videos, I came to know about dating apps and I found the one. <laughs> this guy wants to invite me to America. So I have some few questions to ask you so that you can help me. I know you have gone through the visa process in the past so that is why i came to you so we talked about it and i was so so happy i told her girl i am happy for you and i am happy that i have been of a help so william sent her money for the passport processed the passport and she got her passport then started the process of the visa as they were going through the visa process came through some difficulties that made them to stop the whole process then william told her no stop i am going to be the one to come visit you in tanzania so for lillian it was totally okay because she was like if i find a man who will come and stay with me here in tanzania it's okay if i will find the man who will want me to go live with him in america that's okay so for him to come to tanzania it was also okay for her their relationship continued this relationship started march this year 2022 april that is when he talked about inviting her then came across some difficulties so he was like no stop i will be the one to come that was in may and that is where we are so they continued and then william asked lillian that you told me you are living with your mother but do you wish 
to live alone do you wish to have your own place then Lillian was like yes I will be very very happy to have a place of my own but right now I cannot do that because of money so William told her don't worry if you really want to stay alone I am going to sponsor that so look for an apartment I am going to pay for your apartment Lillian was very very happy started looking for an apartment got a very beautiful apartment but you know in Tanzania most apartments or most houses you will find them empty very few few apartments you will find they are furnitured so the apartment that Lillian got did not have any furniture talked about it with William William was like don't worry I am going to send you money for the rent for the furniture money for your upkeep and personal use for your mother and your young brother wow so this reminds me Chantel's story if you remember he sent 60 pounds to her and they started talking about it all the time I sent you 60 pounds <laughs> guys William is so good and men like William are so rare to find so he sent that money and Lillian got her own furnished apartment was really really happy their relationship was going really good and at the same time William was preparing to come to Tanzania to meet Lillian so friends before I continue with this story I want to give you a tip I don't want to mislead you if you are dating a guy this guy is so loving is so caring you feel like the guy is really really genuine but is not spoiling you like the way you're hearing Lillian's boyfriend is sending lots of money to her to the young brother to the mother and you're like so I should leave this man <laughs> no guys don't leave your man because he is not spoiling you some men will spoil you before you meet while chatting some men will spoil you when they meet you before that mm -mm. <laughs> they'll never send you anything <laughs> and others will come see you but won't spoil you that much like the way you expect but spoil you after getting married to you so please dear beautiful ladies focus on your relationship please please important the guy treats you good important the guy gives you all the attention important you get everything that you ever dreamed to have in a man that will be your future husband the spoiling part just wait i don't want you to destroy your relationships just because you are hearing men are spoiling ladies before they meet or when they go they spoil them very very much no don't do that please please i'm talking to you as the sister who loves you very very much to add on that guys we are not equal people earn differently yes and that is the same thing i told you there is a video i did i told you stop comparing yourselves to these couples you see on social media people are different people earn differently <laughs> so you find your husband or you find your boyfriend that you're chatting to is earning little and then you see someone like William is earning like this <laughs> then you'll be like no 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 I think I have to return to the dating apps <laughs> and search for someone like William no guys we are not equal just like the way you see these fingers <laughs> yeah so i have another example and i know through this example maybe there is someone that is going through the same situation girl i'm not going to mention your name so don't worry <laughs> so there is this girlfriend of mine found love online everything is super good but the guy isn't spoiling her that much to an extent she was like mm, <laughs> i don't know should i go back to the dating apps and leave this guy because i'm not getting spoiled like the things i see on social media like my friends who have found love online they haven't even met yet but these men are sending a thousand and thousands of dollars to them <laughs> i told her girl do not look at other people 
focus on your relationship because the guy she's dating is giving her the attention is giving her the love is spoiling her but not all that much because guys he's not earning all that much money <laughs> if this guy was earning a lot of money and spoiling her you know little we could say the guy is stingy but no is trying his best <laughs> to spoil her with the little he has that means he is a good guy so please please focus on your relationship stop looking at other people's relationships and compare your relationship i thought i should share this with you so let's go back to william and lillian's story William was done with all the preparations to go to Tanzania. The day came and he went to Tanzania. Lillian was at the airport waiting for him. When he arrived, she felt very, very happy, felt loved, felt cared. For someone traveling all that far, come meet you. It's not just an easy thing. It means someone really cares for you so, so much. So they met after five months of chatting online. You who has been on online dating apps, you're chatting with a guy, it has been a year. I will still sing this to your ears. Wake up. You should plan on how to meet. Ask this guy, when are you meeting? What are his plans? Because some guys are on online dating apps, they are chatting with you, maybe you exchange phone numbers, they tell you romantic words, they tell you, you know, they will marry you, they imagine you having kids, they are not even capable of paying for the ticket, come see you, or pay for your ticket, go see them. So be clever guys, talk about meeting, it is very, very important. Because when you meet, that is when your relationship becomes real. You know, if you guys have got chemistry, if you don't have chemistry, if there is future, there is no future, you will understand more better when you meet in person than you guys chatting for years and years. So from the airport, they went to Lillian's apartment. Remember, Lillian has got her own apartment <laughs> that William is paying for it. So there was no need for William to go to the hotel. <laughs> so they went to Lillian's apartment and when they arrived, William brought lots of gifts for her, for the mother and the young brother. Lillian was so, so happy. She tells us, it was her happiest today. So friends, I know you all want to hear if Lillian shared her goodies. <laughs> the goodies! <laughs> she did, guys. She shared her goodies and it went very, very well. <laughs> so guys, I know you did not expect this, but the truth is Afro Cinema starts here <laughs> yeah for cinema begins <laughs> so friends after william stayed for some few days in tanzania told lillian i'd like to talk to you about something that is very very important i couldn't talk to you on the phone because you were not going to understand that is why i decided to come so that i can talk to you about it <laughs> guys can you guess what it is what does this guy want to say to Lillian <laughs> guess write me in the comment section below but if you are the one at that moment how could you have felt for me my heart could be like doom, doom, doom. <laughs> scared because <laughs> at the time you feel like everything is going fine someone loves you so much you know he cares for you you have created some curses in the air and then tells you i want to talk to you about something mm. you start feeling oh my god what does he want to tell me <laughs> so let's know guys so william started like you know you are very beautiful you're such a nice lady and guys i hate this if you want to tell me something go straight and tell me especially if you know it is bad news 
because <laughs> Don't sugarcoat me because for me it doesn't make any meaning. Even if you tell me I'm a <laughs> even if you tell me I'm a very beautiful lady, I'm a wife material. <laughs> doesn't matter. Hit the point. <laughs> so he was like, You're very beautiful, I like you so much, but I cannot promise to engage you or get married to you. And this is because of my current situation of my life the way my life is right now it's complicated i can't bring you in the middle it is not going to be fair because lillian knew that william had divorced and the ex-wife was sick in the hospital but right now william is telling her that because of the ex being in the hospital the kids there is too much drama that Lillian won't be able to handle and he thinks it is better for them to remain good friends but engagement promises marriage promises are not there guys Lillian was shocked she was shocked to hear that because never expected something like that from William she told me Bella I was in love already I love this guy before even we met the same thing i have been telling you don't attach yourself emotionally to these guys on online dating apps before you see actions before you guys meet do not cause this might break your heart and i don't want you guys to be in a such kind of a situation so lillian was so hurt cried a lot but at the same time told god thank you that this man is sincere enough to tell me the truth to be honest guys it hurts it really hurts because when you start creating castles in the air i told you, you even plan weddings in your heads <laughs> with these men on online dating apps so if something comes like that it really hits you badly really really badly yes so i repeat guys please do not attach yourselves even there is a lady who told me to do the video i am yet to do the video the guy wasn't writing to her he wasn't taking the relationship seriously but the lady was trying a lot so when she talked to me i told her girl ignore this guy don't be the one to initiate the communication see how he puts the efforts into that relationship in the end she kept quiet started ignoring the guy that is when it was a wake-up call for the guy the guy started looking for her telling her how is that you're so quiet these days and they started you know communicating everything going very very well she came to thank me and was like bella talk to all ladies that they should not attach themselves emotionally to these men on online dating apps I stopped caring, I stopped attaching myself to the guy and see what happened. <laughs> the guy is doing the right thing, how things are supposed to be done. If I kept on forcing myself, kept on trying so hard, that means this guy could have just, you know, took me for granted. And this helps you guys, not just like a wake up call, to wake up the guy no this is to help you as a woman whatever happens you don't remain with wounds <laughs> yeah because if you don't care you take things slowly you want to see if this thing is real till you confirm that is when you attach yourself then if something happens before you are like okay <laughs> i did not put so much of my emotions to this guy i told you guys you should be sweet you should be kind you should be respectful you should be romantic but your heart never guys never never give it to the guy that you haven't seen in real life never give it to a guy that is only telling you sweet words so guys after william told lillian i cannot promise engagement or marriage he added let things happen organically between me and you but the care that i'm giving you i'll keep giving you i still want you in my life i want you as a friend 
and he offered to help Lillian. He told her, if you want to change your life, I still want to invite you to America so that you can come and see how life is there. If you like it, you can return to Tanzania, think of it very well, and then decide. If you want to come and work in America, I am going to support you. If you want to come and maybe finish your master's, I am going to sponsor you. Do not worry, I've got your back. So you who is watching this video, I'm coming to you again. Could you have grabbed the opportunity to go to America, work or study? Or you could have refused just because you thought this man was going to be your future husband. <laughs> but I'm going to give you Lillian's answer. Lillian tells us she decided to grab the opportunity because the reality is the guy is not ready to be in a relationship but is supporting her, is sponsoring everything for her to change her life. So when she told me about that, you know me, your sister, I want to be in that safe zone. <laughs> so I was like, Lillian, aren't you scared? Maybe this guy might be a bad guy and take you to America, then do bad things to you. She was like, Bella, no. I've talked to this guy from the start of our relationship till now, never gave me any doubts to think he is a bad guy, never. To add on that, he's someone who likes to help. He came to that apartment where Lillian is staying and offered help to the landlord. You know, in Africa, we have the water problem. So the apartment where Lillian was staying had water problem. So this guy offered to buy two big water tanks for the landlord. <laughs> he doesn't know the landlord. He's just a stranger, but you know, he offered help so Lillian told me he's someone who likes to help that is his nature so he spent two weeks in Tanzania and then returned to America in September and the plans for Lillian to go to America is next year March and I will come here give you the update of how it all went so that we get to know so the current situation is that everything is going normal and William is still paying for everything that he was paying. Nothing has changed at all. So friends, Lillian tells us, yes, her intention on online dating apps was to find love, but found a sponsor, <laughs> someone who decided to change Lillian's life. And she says, maybe it is God. So I have decided to grab this, but at the same time, waiting for things to work organically, just like the way William said. So guys, I know you ask yourself or you are imagining. So this Lillian is just there stuck waiting to be invited next year to america no guys lillian is not just stuck she accepted the situation i told you agreed with the opportunity that this guy offered her she is finishing her university studies told me she will look for a job then next year she will go to america see then return and decide of what to do but maybe things might change between them maybe this guy might change his mind but meanwhile she is building herself so friends that is lillian and william's story <laughs> maybe we will hear something different next i don't know when I update you, let's keep on waiting. So I have some few tips for you guys before I end this video. Number one tip to you all dear ladies that are on online dating apps searching, when you chat with a guy, he shows you attention and then you start imagining he might be the one, please, please ask this guy questions. What are his plans if things goes well? between the two of you is he planning to get married one day or he does not plan to get married one day he just wants a lady to live with you know come we stay <laughs> ask him but ask him in a friendly way because guys i want to give you a secret 
<laughs> when you chat with a guy online everything is fine it is good to make this guy your friend too not only your boyfriend he should be your friend so when you ask this question ask it in a friendly way that he's gonna be open and tell you the truth it is very very important because if you don't know this guy's plans in his head or his future plans you are going to create castles in the air that later on will fall and you are going to cry i don't want that to happen to you that is why i'm advising you talk to this guy get to know his future plans tip number two if you're chatting with a guy online everything is going very fine he gives you attention he cares for you he shares with you his daily activities every day that doesn't mean this guy wants to marry you that doesn't mean this guy wanna have kids with you but you can find out <laughs> yes <laughs> that's the more interesting thing because by chatting with him always be clever dear beautiful ladies get to study the kind of lifestyle this guy lives some guys are on online dating apps but their financial status is so so bad especially ladies that are interested in interracial dating interracial marriages it needs money someone is living far far away from you he needs to pay for the ticket to see you or he needs to pay for your ticket go see him it is all money 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 so if someone is not prepared if someone's financial status is not okay no matter the beautiful words he tells you no matter he shares with you his daily activities that relationship will not work so better get to know that as early as possible before you waste your time i'm still talking about his life so this guy has got a very bad love relationship experience in the past with the ex and it is still hunting him so this guy to look for you know a place to get a relief he goes to the dating apps to chat with a lady because william was on the dating apps but not to look for love this is the truth this guy was on online dating apps to look for a lady to comfort him to look for a lady to talk to him and get a relief of whatever he is going through in his life he confessed it to lillian that is why i am telling you get to study a guy you are chatting to avoid getting used by these men because if you're on online dating apps to search for love you're not there to get a man who wants comfort you are there to get a man who is looking for love this is the truth tip number three and it is the last one avoid mystery men i told you most men would like a lady to be a mystery but you as a lady don't accept to date a guy who is a mystery and i'm going to explain more about this so you are chatting with a guy a guy is showing interest towards you but never make things clear it's like some things he's keeping them for himself he doesn't want to open up you know very well so you as a lady you start imagining and be like maybe he loves me that is why he's doing this maybe he cares for me that is why he sent me money maybe there is a future between us <laughs> that is why he keeps talking to me every day no he should utter it out to you so that you can hear it yes it's very very important for me i know there is a lady i was helping and this lady was dating a guy who never said i love you they were dating for a year whenever she could say i love you the guy could respond me too but never said i love you <laughs> so she could just imagine maybe this guy loves her but in the end the truth is the story ended badly because this guy wasn't in love with the lady but the girl imagined maybe he feels something for me 
and the guy gave an excuse that when we meet that is when i will tell you i love you that is when i will feel that i love you came a question bella can a guy fall in love with a lady while chatting can you believe a guy who will tell you i love you on online dating apps bella please answer me for me i will tell you yes because it all starts here before seeing you in person yes they feel something for you yes a guy can love you because it all starts with the mind and when they meet you everything becomes you know they confirm but a guy who tells you i can't tell you i love you before i meet you that's a lie they know already that they don't feel anything for you so never be in that situation of maybe for me i'm going to advise you ask questions ask questions to find out the truth as early as possible so guys i know this story is not usual stories that i always tell you it is a unique one but i hope you have learned something out of this story thank you so much for watching till now god bless you i appreciate you much give this video a thumbs up if you have liked it share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video subscribe please if you have not subscribed i love you so much guys you're always here in my heart let us meet in my next video ciao ciao Mwah.